<laughs> okay. Hi, right, buddy. How you doing here, Mr. Pack? You're over here too. All three of us here, huh? All the boys here. I'm waiting on mommy to get out of the shower so she can take care of you. Because daddy needs a prick. Uh, no candy. No candy is right now. It's too early, man. It's barely what, 12 o'clock? No, no candy right now, okay? No. No. Candy tonight, maybe, after your bath, okay? After dinner, okay? After dinner, okay? My sweet boy. We got into the drywall again this this morning, and his mom had to clean it all this time. It's horrible. He was eating it again. Handfuls of it. I gotta fix that. You know, no big deal or anything. Just, oh, it's a mess. Oh, I, 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 you're not getting any candy. I, I, a gee. Back up again, handing him cups of water and dumping it all over the room. I mean, it's just the same things every day. These five days have been nothing but nonsense. Okay. Okay, bye. Come on, Mom. What are you doing? Uh, I need some rest. I don't think I'm even that tired physically. Mentally, I am mentally wore out from you two. Mentally. Mentally wore out from the boys. Be nice. No pushing. Hey, hey, hey. Be nice. Yeah, no pushing, Brody. Hey, be nice, guys. You being nice to each other? What are you doing there? I can't tell. Again, the hand with the candy. I'm not giving you any candy. No candy. Gang, gang, fam. Gang, gang, fam. What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? What do you want to eat? No, Brody. I'm not giving you candy. I said no. 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 Can you say, I love you? No, I don't want to eat right now. I want to mentally rest my brain for a few hours. I need the off button right now, okay? I wish I was a robot, but... I oh, the stem sound. Oh, day and night. Well, not at night. You guys slept pretty good. You guys are up early. You're up at 7 in the morning. <laughs> All right, let's try to shut this off now for a uh, Never mind, we have to. Your mom's got to go return the lock. Uh, if you want to eat, I'll go feed you now. Let's go. Come on, I don't know what you're going to eat. There's nothing really here until the Aldi order gets here, okay? Oh, you kids, man. I am beat. Yes, hello. Do you want to go eat? Let's go. Come on, let's go. I'll go feed you. I know there's cheese crackers in there and you got spaghetti. Let's go. Come on, let's go do this. Pizza bagels? No, I don't have pizza bagels. You get cheese crackers if you want to eat now. That's all I have for you right now. Let's go. Come on, downstairs. Again, Birdie, why do you have to do this every time we're in here? Come on, let's go. Down, let's go. Walk, son. Walk. Uh, where's Birdie? Come on, Birdie. Oh, for God, she's got to go return that damn thing. Didn't have to, but once you get it done, I get it. The last thing to do is... All right, let's go downstairs before we eat drywall again. Now, let's go downstairs. I don't want to do this again with this, okay? Let's go. I know what you're going to do. Downstairs. Keep going. Let me lock all this up. All right. Now, what do you want to eat? Do we want Cheese crackers and water. And you get spaghetti because the food order won't be here until later on today. All right, fruit, snacks, cheese crackers, pasta, water. Now we got to check your levels here, homie. Very important. Very important. Wow, you're high, man. Jesus, my dog. We got to get mom to give you more insulin, man. She's got to learn a new procedure. Well, you're going to the doctor this week, so we'll figure it out. Which arm would you want me to do? This one, right? See, there's drywall in the sink. We're going to be 15 right now because he's already high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get 
your vitamins to, well, I guess you get your vitamins. Birdie doesn't need any of them now. Except for the probiotics, I guess you have a couple. Take your vitamins, kids. I know you're not gonna eat all these, but you're gonna keep trying. And if he doesn't eat them, you can eat them. What's this, Beckham? Good job. Go ahead, eat them. I don't care. He doesn't want to eat them. Now you're gonna have a big poopy now. You know, that's why you don't get candy anymore. Because you don't eat your vitamins. So remember that. Tonight when you ask me for the Sour Patch Kids and I tell you no, that's why. Oh, my favorite. Let's empty the dishwasher and put all the dirty dishes in there. All the fun things, kids. That it's going to be your responsibility one day. Yeah, I hope. You didn't want a spaghetti. I put it away. High five. Hello. Dirty. Dirty dishes. Dirty, stinky dishes. Are you going to finish those cheese crackers or what? You wanted more. You got more. Finish them. No, you just... Put it, no, 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 just leave them here. All done, goodbye. No, leave them here. Why can't you follow directions? I said no, leave them here. He's gonna rip them apart and make a mess for me. Good cry, I don't care at this point. I'm so tired of saying no to you and you doing the opposite. Yeah, Beck, it's been like this for five days now. He doesn't want them. Goodbye, go. You ask for them and then you don't eat them. Typical thing that you do, thank you. I'm sorry I raised my voice, but I've had it when he's just constantly, just every day. Screaming at me, I'm going to scream back. If you scream at me, I scream at you. We just went through this about the cheese crackers. I told you you didn't want any more, I gave you enough. And here you are again, giving me a hard time. What's so funny? He enjoys when his brother and I go at it with each other, bickering and raising our voices and screaming and all that. He loves it for some reason. I don't know why, but he does. Good job, Beckham. This is yes, playing School Buzz Legos. Waiting on you to finish these pretzels because we don't need any of paper mache mess. And from what I can see when I clean this up, he took the pot upstairs and had drywall in a pot because mom dumped it all in the sink. And then dad gets the privilege of scrubbing the sink out and all that, it was fun. So, sorry if I raised my voice, but you know, it's every day it's just nonsense that can be avoided. School bus Legos. Good job, you really need your hair washed tonight. You Legos? Yeah, we got some new shampoo conditioner stuff. Hopefully it doesn't affect your skin. But we gotta do baths later tonight. It's so early, it's only like 12 o'clock. We got so much to do, wait on Monica back. I just wanna go lay down. I need a mental break. What's going on in that head of yours up here? I wanna know, what, what is going on with you sometimes? That when I asked you not to put the cheese crackers on your brother's tray and you immediately just throw them over there. I mean, I don't think he understood me in proper context, I guess, I don't know, but like, he kinda did. Like everyone always says, it's opposition to fire disorder. It's his personality, it's just who he is. Everything you tell him to do, he does the opposite. If I tell him to do something <laughs> that I don't want him to do, I have to do, I have to play mind games with him sometimes. It sucks. Oh no, the school bus Lego fell off the edge. Can you Legos? Yeah, oh no. Come on, Brody boy, finish the pretzels for the love of God. I think he'll be fine here with these. Okay, I'm going to take the water. I'm going upstairs. Let's double check. Everything's locked and we're good to go. But this is coming with me. Okay? Well, Lego spanky time. No, no Lego spanky time. It's baby time. It's baby baby on the crash. He was telling me to wrestle him. I, I don't have the energy to do that right now. But baby, I can pick baby. A baby baby wants to wrestle Beckham. Beckham, you want to wrestle baby? You should wrestle the baby. Baby. Baby wrestle. Here, a baby. Here, show me your power bomb. Do baby moves. I can't do it to you, buddy. You got to do it on your own. No, I can't. But I don't. I can't. I can't. No, I physically cannot do that right now. I don't want to hurt myself. No, you do baby. Wrestle the baby. I know he loves to be slammed, but I can't do it right now. We saw that yesterday. No, no, I can't, buddy. No, no, not right now. No, no, I can't. Beckham, I'm telling you, no, Spanky down. No, I can't, bro. Come on, wrestle the baby. You do this to the baby here. Here, do the baby. Look, watch. No, here. Look. Go like this. Do the baby. Wrestle. Slam the baby. Go. Slam the baby. Boom. I'll give you a hug. Big hugs, but I'm not slamming you on the mat right now. Later tonight, I will, okay? All right. Still waiting on you to eat those pretzels. I, I decided to stick it out. I don't know. You'd be surprised with those little bit of pretzels turn into the mess that he can create. Come on, Brody. Stop with this. Just finish the pretzels here. Finish, 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 finish. Please, son. Come on. You're not as dirty as your brother. Greasy, at least. We both need your hardcore baths, man. 
Stinky kids. Stanky peepees. It does. It smells like pee in here again. What you looking at? What are you perfecting? School bus Legos. Who is this guy? Who's that guy in the Boss room? Legos. Boss Legos? Amulet Legos. Amulet Legos. Let's hope we never have an ambulance come by here. Taxi Legos. Ever again. All right, you did it. Woohoo! Yeah, high five for Pretzel Boy. What's up, Pretzel Boy? Hey. 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 All right, I'm taking the water upstairs. Everything's locked. I double, triple check. Go downstairs with mommy. Daddy's gonna lay down. The water cups are back down there with mommy now. She's here, okay? I'll see you in a little bit, okay? All right, boys. Let's go. Let's start doing all the things. We made the bed. Bath time. So much for not being able to lift these. Can't get it down the stairs, though, huh? This is no back on Brody. You know, kids, what is it with you guys and destructive behavior, man? It's like they live to just do it. And again, the drywall. Again. We're going to fix that and give you baths. Again, just, oh, just so sick of it. This is why we don't have mattresses. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Where's the sheet for this? Just, any child that comes into their home and does this to their room and thinks this is okay, you're damn wrong. This is no. You don't do this to your house. And especially don't peel at that. I hope I still have the pieces up here. I'm going to go up to the attic and look. There they are. I'm going to fix them. You know, kids, like, what the hell? Why did you do this to begin with? Why did you bring this out here? Thank you for helping me put it back, but that mommy's still in control downstairs. This is no, this is no, it's bath time and it's time to get ready for bed. You got school tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for helping me with the mess you made. Where's the sheet? I got to get, I got to clean up the drywall again. This is the third or fourth time your mom and I have done this now in, in two days. This is nuts. This is not acceptable at all for a kid to do this every day. Uh, unacceptable. Easy. Unacceptable. If you want to sleep and drywall, kid, go ahead. You know. Hold on, back, back, back. Wait. Thank you, buddy. Okay, I gotta clean up the drywall here. Get down from the window ledge now. Get down. I asked you to get out. I'm not. I gotta come and clean this up. Get out. You're gonna fall through that. You're gonna rip it out. Let's go find the sheet that was on the other bed. Yes. Thank you. Yes. This right here, little man, this. This is no. I'm assuming you did that, right? Stop taking the bedding off. You, help me with this. Bring it upstairs. Upstairs with it with me. I don't want to smack your butt. Just get, oh, Jesus Christ, this kid. Pick up the stuff and walk upstairs with me. I want you to behave is what I want you to do. Okay, pick up the guy, the orange guy. Get the orange guy too. Well, you made the mess. You're going to help me clean it up, okay? I need you out of here. Out. While I'm cleaning and making the bed. Out. Both of you out. Goodbye. Out. Go back downstairs with mom for a moment until I'm ready for you. Ask mom. Oh, man. Here, you can put YouTube on this TV. Here, I made your beds. Now I'm going to try to fix this wall. Here. You, no, Beckham, right here. YouTube. Mom has the other TV right now, okay? I don't know what you're doing with this over here. Like, I had it sealed up. Pulling on electrical wires and other stuff. This is all now, man. This is the stuff I'm talking about. This is a dangerous, kid. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Whatever's down here, staying down here. I'm sealing it up. I don't care what's in there. It sucks. This one stayed on. All the other ones came off. Yeah, sure, buddy. All right, now I got to get screws. It's nice because they wedge together, but I got to get screws and block all this. Make sure it just, I don't know. I don't think it's hitting the beam. That's the problem. Suck, suck, sucks. Everything is a pain in the butt with you two. You got to make me make effort every day to take care of you two. Can you just make it an easy day for dad once in a while? And your mom, wouldn't that be nice? Stay down here. I got to get screws for your wall. Whoop, whoop. whoop. Go downstairs. I'm using those screws from the old lock. Just hoping this will catch and it'll stay. I'll try to put as many as I can. Those nails aren't going to work. You need something that's going to grip. Yeah, if you rip this off again, I'm going to be pissed. Both of you. This isn't working. And you over here celebrating with your job. Yeah, laughing. Has no idea how how stressful this is to go through every day. You and him. I don't know what to do. It's gonna keep happening. I'm really just I'm so sick of it. Super glue. We gotta get glue. I guess I don't know. Good old duct tape. We're not done yet though.
I got to make it so there's so many different layers over it that he can't figure out how to peel it off all the way easily. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Come here, Brody. Come here, Brody. Come here. What do you think about your windows? Look. Now you have windows, another set of windows, okay? You play pretend. I might even let you draw on here. You can draw on this, but you cannot rip that off, okay? Because brother eats all that. It's not fun. All right? We leave this alone. We got to do bath stuff, okay? It might come off tonight, but I'll be able to easily put it back together. What do you think, buddy? Here? Is that nice? Yeah, you can rob that. I have a carpet upstairs, too. I might put it over top of it, make it even more layered. But I can't screw anything in. There's no beams. It's the best I can do for now. Yeah, windows. Windows, Brody, and Beckham. All right, let's go do our base. Mom said she wants to do it. <laughs> Come on, let's... I, I barely... You know, he, I got, like, an hour of sleep today. Like, they came in so many times today. Come on, let's go do bass. Let's go. Everybody's going to bath time. Dad's going to get a shower after that, too. Come on. Uh, hold this for one second. I'm not even paying. All right, we got everything we need here. We just got to go clip Brody to get him in there. Come on, Brody boy. Come on. Good job waiting on me. Come on. Come on, I got this. Come on, let's get you in the bath. Come on. It's bath time. Your brother's in there filling up the tub with toys to make it really difficult to get in there. Good job. That's not going to work. We got doo-doos. Some teenagers out there that think they're going to be parents. Yeah, there you go. Oh, thanks, Beckham, for filling up the tub of toys when I could have just easily rinsed his body off. He had it all up his back. All right, Brody's got poopies coming, so we're getting them out of the tub. We got their hair washed, their body washed. Sorry, we're cutting it short because you got poopies coming out here. All right, let's go. Careful, you're stepping on the loose. All right, you're all fresh and clean. Go ahead and hang out with the baby. Let's get Beckham in his gear. We did Brody first this time before he had poopies all over. Surfer man Beckham, he's good to go. Nice and clean. Now we're gonna lock everything up. Dad's gonna get a shower. Daddy is sweaty and gross. Uh, what? Vegetables. Vegetables? No, we're not doing any food. You guys, it's eight o'clock at night. You guys ate already, okay? Mom fed you an hour ago, okay? We're done with food. Before dad gets in the shower, you can each have a cup of water. That's it though. Nothing else. We're not eating it. No, we are not eating again. Absolutely not. No. All right, Daddy's gonna go get in the shower now, okay? Daddy, shower. Is that okay with you, Beckham? Good job with your building over here. I like it. Truck. Truck, yes. And you hang out down here upstairs. Actually, let's go upstairs and put your show on. Let's go put the potty video on before I get in the shower. We'll do that, okay? All right, he handed me the remote. It means that's what he wants to watch. And again, you good? High five, my man. I'll be out in like 20 minutes or so. And again, this is no, do not touch this. I, if I come out, if I come out of the bathroom and that's all worked apart, I'm gonna be really upset with you. And there's drywall again, I'm gonna be really pissed. So that's no. Remember, this is no, you stay away from that, okay? You have brain flakes to play with. You need to gather them yourself though. They're all over here, I'm leaving the door open. My favorite, I'm getting all these out of the damn tub here. Who's this happy sounding young man outside the bathroom door here? Oh, it's Brody. Look, you got all your brain flakes, Brody. What you got in your mouth though? What are you chewing on? Whatever you ate today made you poop. I think it was the drywall. Yeah, okay. I know, you wanna go in the bedroom and all that stuff. Where are you bringing me? I need to go get my shorts and all that stuff. Can you, can you let go of my pinky, please? Hold on, hold on. Let's go upstairs. We're not we're not eating again. We're not doing anything down here. Beck, I'm upstairs, bed. Let's go. Yes, now. You are not sleeping down here anymore. Not after your eloping habits. No, upstairs. Let's go. Melatonin upstairs in my room. I'll get it. You're going to bed. Let's go. Upstairs, please. Do as you're told. You can bring the DJ with you. Brody, let's go. I got water cups upstairs for you. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. All I had to do is come down here and get pants for myself. This man's trying to bring me to the... Yes, I have water upstairs. Okay. Hear the sirens. You get three. You can hang out with me if you like, but I prefer you to go to your room. Here, take these with us. Come on, bedroom. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's try to get you guys to bed. It's like nine o'clock. Here, back. Here's your three. Good job getting your bed. Thank you. In your bedroom. This way. Have some sips of water now, and then I'm taking them away. Here, want some water? I have to wash that down. You like your bed, huh? You've been sleeping up here through the night. He's been hasn't been coming down until he wakes up. 
Very comfortable. I laid on them. They're very comfortable beds. Where's the other blanket? So you have two? Okay, you need to go. Just sit down. Where's the other blanket? Ah, oh, you kids. Every day. Guys. Go get the other blanket, Beck. Go downstairs. Go get the blanket. Go. I'm not getting it for you. Please. Go get the blanket. Give me the cup. Thank you. What you watching? Yee. Ooh. Good job, Beckham. Get the, go get the blanket. Unless it's in here, which I'm pretty sure it's not. No, it's downstairs. You... Go to your room. Hey. You want to sit? Fine. Sit with me. Go ahead. Sit with me. Melatonin's going to hit you hard. And you're going to go right down. No, don't touch the melatonin. No. No. You got your blanket back? Come on. Good job. Here, you can have this water with you in bedroom until I come in. All right, I'm going to let you go in your room and go to bed. Birdie's going to hang out with me for a little bit. Stay in your seat. Don't get up. Sit. All right, buddy. Kiss love. Come here. I love you. Sweet dreams. Have a good day at school tomorrow, okay? I'm going to shut this, okay? I love you. Yeah, Brody will be in shortly, too, okay? I'm not locking it. All right, yesterday's video is up. We're back on the low. But we saw that. I believe that was yesterday. And again, losing my mind. All right. Brody's sitting there with me. What you want from me, son? What do you want? <clears throat> do you want to chill with Dad? He wants a kid. <laughs> it wasn't dandy. That's what you want. It's kind of late for that day. And I immediately get the control. We already got the game started. We're gonna... Waiting to get in a session here. Stop eating the drywall, but whatever that drywall made him crap his brains out. Whatever. He got an empty belly now. Only because I want some. And I love you. Oh, this looks, look at all the water, Brody. Look at all that water. Wow. We've done this track before. Another, that's it. That's more than enough before bedtime. Okay? Look at all that water. Yeah, I want a couple of these guys. Brody's loving this I am too. This track is sick. It's just like high flying. Like, holy crap, bro. And then like the jet zone, he's in the air. <laughs> like, where the fuck are we supposed to go? Oh, it's still going forward. Holy crap. Now that was a fun track. He was like, he was loving it. I'm not giving any more candy though, man. That's it. The candy's over with, bro, bro. It's time for bed. You know what I'm saying? Have a nose though. We're all clean, fresh. I love you. No more candy. Nope. Nope. Can't even like see him down in there. He's still like sticking his fingers in my armpit. I don't know why. <laughs> Daddy'll do that though. Daddy didn't put deodorant on yet, but I washed. I mean, but I need to do that. It's this is the last race, okay? Number twelve on the list. We got in pretty late on it. Like five. We were racing the whole time. He's enjoying himself. I think it's ten o'clock now. It's time for bed though shortly, okay? Where you at here, handsome? He's being really good. We, we like doing this. This is nice. This is yes. All the way. Laying in bed, hanging out. Father, son, playing video games, him dancing, stimming. I love that. This is the stuff I like. Cuddling, all that. That's nice. This is yes. Eating drywall is no. All right, baby boy. It's time to sleep here. Let's get him to bed. It's nice that when he falls asleep next to me, it is nice. Enjoy it while you hit it. Such a good kid. Come on, baby boy. Let's get you to your bed. Come on. Come on, birdie boy. Come on. Let's get you to your new bed, okay? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's get you to bed. <laughs> He's like, where am I? What year is it? <laughs> yeah, buddy. You were sound asleep. Come on. Let's go. Let's get you to your room. You got school tomorrow, okay? Good job. Shout out to wake up, brother. Okay. Oh, he's got that spot. Doesn't matter. He's going to lay anywhere you want. Okay, he's going to lay back there. He's like next to him. Don't matter. That's where he's laying. You lay with him. I don't care. Okay, I love you. Sweet dreams. Like, why don't you lay over here in this bed? Well, you guys figure it out on your own. You got plenty of room here, okay? I love you. Sweet James, I'm going to turn this down. Okay, it's kind of loud. Do I have the remote in here? No, I do not. All right, there you go. It's seven here. You like this stuff. All right. Guys, I love you. Sweet dreams. School tomorrow. Be good boys, okay? Be good for mommy in the morning. I'm going to take this with me. Actually. I'm going to lock this. You're probably going to try to unlock it. 
take your vitamins and make sure you do it with food in your belly. I didn't really eat enough today. We are living in an economy today, Donna, where the people on top are doing phenomenally well, while 60% of our people are living paycheck to paycheck. 25% of elderly people are trying to get by on $15,000 a year or less. We have the highest rate of childhood poverty of almost any major country on earth, and parents all over this country worry that their kids may have a lower standard of living than they do. That is the economic reality. And what Donald Trump did is provided an explanation. He went around and said, I know you're angry, and the reason is that zillions of illegal immigrants are coming over, and they're eating your cats and dogs and everything else. That's the reason. Well, obviously, that is not the reason. The reason is, in my view, that we have an unprecedented level of corporate greed, there's some random what the fuck news. Mattel may have accidentally traumatized a bunch of kids. And that, because if you didn't know, the Wicked movie's coming out this month and it stars Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo. It's highly anticipated. It's supposed to be one of the big box office events of the year. And so there's a ton of merch that's getting released alongside. And that includes some Barbie dolls of the main characters. Well, you see, what had happened was the boxes for the dolls, presumably for children, they have promotional materials for the film. And on the back, it directs people to go to wicked.com. It sounds like something that would be on a box for a toy for the movie Wicked. But the thing is, the film's website is actually wickedmovie.com, and wicked.com, it's a porn site. Which is why this morning, Mattel issued a big old apology, saying Mattel was made aware of a misprint on the packaging of the Mattel Wicked collection dolls primarily sold in the U.S. We deeply regret this unfortunate error and are taking immediate action to remedy this. Parents are advised that the misprinted, incorrect website is not appropriate for children. Consumers who already have the product are advised to discard the product packaging or obscure the link and may contact Mattel customer service for further information. And with that, as of yesterday afternoon, the dolls were no longer available to sale. Some these are currently on fire and the fire services are struggling to keep up as New Jersey is facing a wildfire surge of more than a thousand percent compared to last year. And all this has been playing out over the past few weeks. I mean, we're talking countless homes threatened and evacuated, road closures, air quality warnings, at least one death. And again, the worst is happening in New Jersey where the forest fire services responded to 537 wildfires since just early October. This also is other states in the area like New York and Connecticut have also been battling wildfires. So you have fire services working around the clock on containment. And in fact there, as of last night, firefighters reportedly have only contained about 10% of the latest wildfire, which has burned 3,000 acres across New Jersey and New York. With a Bill Donnelly, chief of and huge international news, 50,000 Russian and North Korean troops are reportedly getting ready to launch a massive counteroffensive to reclaim territory seized by Ukraine. Right, because Ukraine, they captured hundreds of square miles of Russia's Kursk region in a surprise assault back in early August. We jump on this thing and you're on that chair in that room. So you're welcome to come in there with me hang out. I don't know if I'm going to play video games so. All right, so it's like one o'clock in the morning here. Uh, my sons, I love you dearly. Obviously, every day I'm going to repeat myself. Uh, you are everything to me. Uh, and after you become a parent, nothing else really matters other than being a parent. Uh, and until be you become a parent, you, you can't really understand that that factor of what I discuss here, because it's all that matters, man. None of this whole, uh, when I see people that are on social media and all of a sudden they want to go viral and all stuff, and you know, hey, it doesn't, none of that matters, man. Um, and then some will say, well, why you make videos of your kids every day? I make videos of my kids every day and myself of life. It's, it's a video of a journal and just trying to comprehend life and trying to make sense of it all because I'm just beyond mentally exhausted uh, and then physically exhausted, more mentally than anything. Um, and then with, with, with losing the monetization and I just continue to go on, I, you can take away all or whatever little bit of money we, we were making from that. And you guys uh, took it away from us until they become adults. Because I, I feel like in the long run, one day this, this will be their channel. Uh, social media is a, a big part of our lives these days. Uh, I believe social media was the reason why the, the election uh, had the direction it went into. Uh, when you see Elon Musk. Uh, and, of course, Twitter was, like, the most broke, <laughs> obvious way to, to buy something. But, like, he was able to motivate the, the election in a way where... Uh, who knows if everybody wanted to go that way. But I, I feel like he... I don't know. I, again, I'm going to trust... 
a man through science and, and sending rockets off in, into the world and trying to get us on Mars and stuff and not trust uh, uh, the other party here where they're just like, you gotta be woke. <laughs> it's fine to be woke, but be, be understanding, be a human being and being loving towards each other. Uh, but you made it your main focus and that was not the right direction. I mean, I, I mean, I feel like if my life was a whole different story. I could have been one of your best campaign managers, but again, you lost for a reason. You threw t too many things in our faces. Uh, 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 the, the Democratic Party here, and, uh, and just because people are Republicans here doesn't mean that they don't care about people and their their feelings and uh, what is it, the LGB. DQ, whatever, but the community here, it's like, everybody cares about each other, like, but if you rub it in our face and try to force it down our throat, you're gonna, you're gonna find things in a different way, and again, I discussed the other day, too, it's just like, uh, having an abortion, I'm all for women's rights, obviously for an abortion, obviously, I mean, anybody with a logical mind and a good heart would understand it. it's the right thing to do, but like, you cannot allow somebody to have an abortion at like six, seven months into their pregnancy. That's wrong. That's no, man. You had enough time to decide. That's when, with science, you see, it, it's, that's a living being, man. So anyway, I don't know, man. I'm rambling here, whatever. Fuck it. But uh, I want to light this thing up here. Can I light this up here for really quick here and then put this down? So anyway, I got this lit. Uh, I think it was a brief moment tonight with, with, with Brody in the bedroom here with me, and I heard the sirens going off. Uh, as I've stated before, it's my number one fear with Beckham, uh, with his elopement behavioral patterns. Um, somebody got hit by a car over here. I mean, there's car accidents here all the time. Uh, I only noticed this as... Brody laid on me and he would lift my arm up and he was laying on me and I was playing the video game, the race car thing with, over my shoulder. And in between uh, the race, race car stuff, uh, I saw somebody made a post. It's like, somebody got hit by a car out here, like really badly. They blocked this whole, it got really quiet out here, like really fast. I really hope that individual survives and all the family members, friends that love that person, I have, it really goes through it. It's just, it's so awful to hear this. It's just, it's every, this is some of the most dangerous spots in Washington Township. And we happen to have Beckham with, with his eloping situation. It's right there, man. And I'm not trying to take it away from the individual. Uh, it doesn't look good for him or her. Um, well, it really does go out the all ages. Every time I cross that street in the past, I've, I've done it a couple times with the kids, just to walk over to get Chinese food, and I always go to the crosswalks for the most part. But every now and then I walk across when it's broad daylight. Uh, but somebody got hit, and before I, I, th I think I recorded uh, Brody in the bedroom, and b before I heard the, the sirens, I heard somebody scream, oh my God, oh my God, and I heard all this awful thing. Just, just stuff that's like you, you, you don't want to hear. Uh, uh, and you feel for that situation it's just, it was awful I heard some stuff where like, I think he's dead it's was, it was really bad and again it's only like 200 feet from our place and that's why I get really upset when, when Beckham leaves his place and again I thank that individual that actually found him again for just the recent situation with him I want to find him and he said he was a neighbor of ours I just I don't know man and again, no matter what, when you put a tracking device on, on your kids uh, with the elopement behavior patterns, you can't keep them safe. It doesn't mean they're not going to walk into traffic. It just means you know where they are when they get hit by traffic. So, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just being realistic about everything. Um, but I think the switch of uh, everything... Where everything is deadbolts now, for real though. No more butter knives, no more spoons, no more forks, no more Lego bricks or blocks to wedge in there to get out of the house. You can't with a deadbolt, because the deadbolt goes from, it, it, like the little locks of the doors, it goes from this little thing where you can wedge in, and the deadbolt's like this. It goes from this to, 
a deadbolt, you cannot wedge a, a butter knife in there. Um, uh, when, when I grew up as a kid, I used to try to get into my house at times when when I was locked out of the house accidentally and I would have to use butter knives and whatever I could find to get in. And it's my fault for teaching Beckham this stuff. Um, but now with the deadbolts, he can't. It's deadbolts everywhere. But I, I can't help but think about um, when Birdie was in the room, I was like, I was like, where's Beckham at? And I, I don't think I feel about it. I walked in, I was like, okay, he's sound asleep in the bedroom. I was like, uh, that could be him. Uh, and I really, I hope that individual is doing okay. Because uh, it's really dangerous out here. Like this, this four way road here, like four lanes of traffic, two on each side, it just, it's, it's a death trap, man. So that's one of the number one reasons too. When I mean, if we lived in the middle of nowhere in the woods, we gotta worry about wild animals. But man, out here, it's just like, man, the traffic is like no joke, dude. And because he wasn't able to go back to the old man's house or wherever, they all had their doors locked for once. Uh, everybody had their doors locked on Sunday morning. Uh, he just wandered around and trying to try to find his way. And, and that dude, that was really cool. Uh, and again, I thank you so much. I wish. The line is in the right place and uh, could find more people like you that understand that. And he, so last time I was like, man, he's like, oh, he loved my cell phone. I was like, yeah, he loves tablets, phones, and all that stuff. He's like, he's like, he took about 50 pictures of himself and us. <laughs> he said he took a picture of him and as he actually took one more, like he was driving. I was like, yeah. <laughs> so it's Beckham, man. Beckham is a, uh, uh, brilliant, loving kid, and he, he deserves better, man, than what I can do for him and his mom can do. We, we're trying every day, man. We really are. Um, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to lose you, Beckham. I, th I think we're on the right path here with uh, everything locked up. And again, with Birdie, with the, the whole drywall thing, again, that's just, you know, it's just behavior patterns. Like, that's not my number one concern. It's it's about Beckham getting out of the house, um, but uh, I don't know. And then just the world events and everything that goes on in the world, everything is all full of nonsense, man. Uh, I had so much more to say, but I, I really just can't think right now. But again, I'm just thankful to be sitting out here in New Jersey, <laughs> where we're living the dream with the expenses and all that stuff and just not being able to figure out everything financially. And uh, their mom is a real superhero today. I thank you, Rebecca, you kicked ass today. Uh, getting up earlier and you've been around more often. I, I love that, man, thank you. And just, I don't know. And to have uh, Brody fall asleep, uh, while I was doing the little race car stuff with uh, GTA 5 online, just to, doing this like NASCAR thing, and he kept lifting my arm. At one point, he was like, Oh, you know, give me the gummies, give me the, the uh, give me the candy. But he literally grabbed me by the, the arm and it put my one arm over it was this arm over here. He put it over his shoulder and he literally just laid on my chest. And I just, I literally was playing the game, racing the car with like this, and he just laid there. And, for him to, to have that love and that connection with him, it's just, it meant everything to me. Um, and whether he's just like, I'm here for the candy, Dad. <laughs> but I gave him the candy, but he didn't reach for the candy after several times of me telling him no, but like, I don't know. It's, it's something beautiful to be a parent and have those little situations and that love and that bond, man, it just it meant everything to me. Um, I'm getting ram on here. It's like 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> just, I don't know. And just, just to, when somebody was out here and the fire trucks and the police cars went off and all that. And after I said, oh, here, and I, I literally paused and I went to the bedroom. Rebecca was already in bed and he, he was there. He was asleep and I was just like, man, that could be him any day, man. And I know I joke around about the uh, tracking device thing, and honestly, it's nobody's business if you want to put a tracking device on your, on your child privately. 
because there are rear conditions. He will not wear uh, a device, his insulin injecting device, and I don't think he's gonna wear uh, a device to track him. But I mean, we'll do it all. But I mean, I've, I've, I've saw into uh, situations online where like there's some of the stuff for, for pets. We had a, I mean, there's ones for just a year. We don't need a year. I mean, it's just like a little, I mean, the thing is so tiny and it sounds awful to say, but it's like if he's gonna stay safe, it's none of your business if I put that little tracking chip into him. Like, I mean, it's like a little, like, I mean, it's so small. And if I do that, it's like, is it wrong of me to do that? To, to keep him alive and safe and make sure where he's at? But again, it's like, it's not gonna keep him alive because it's like the, when you think about it, like if you do the percentage of things, it's like literally like 90% of the time, just like from him leaving the house is he's gonna get hit by a car. It's not about where he is or where he's at. It's just about, I'm leaving here and this this busy highway and as I have a struggle walking across the street to get Chinese food as I've walked across <laughs> with Beckham a couple times you saw me do it with him get donuts uh, and I'm rambling here but it's like I just uh I apologize like I said I, I, I know I I'm sort of reviewing right now I, I cry man I I worry about him every day man and am I supposed to be all happy and like yeah, buddy, everything's going fine. It's not fine. There's things I want to do for him uh, that I don't know how to explain, but like, I mean, I kind of figured it was going to be this this situation over the weekend. Um, what five, six days without school. Uh, was it Thursday? Friday, Thursday he left. Friday, Saturday, cool. And then Sunday did it again. Uh, but I, I, I feel like it's it's down. We got everything down, man. But um, it's just it's it's really hurtful. Um, and just to see this discussion groups like, but I see on Reddit and Facebook like some of the stuff is is more in the detail what you all go through and. You're already going through similar situations that I've gone through with the, with the mom and my boys, and the relationships just there's nothing there, man. Um, and then to lose a child on top of it, and some of you all have openly admitted it. And I try to, to find you guys on there too, and you guys aren't, aren't around anymore. I don't know, hope you're all doing well. Uh, that, that that that's our reality, man. It doesn't come off the best way what I'm saying here, but just it just it it f's me up, and I raised my voice today, and and honestly, it does it makes me a bad father sometimes where I get overwhelmed with everything. I, I shouldn't be raising my voice at, at Beckham or Brody, and but uh, and I just I try to be realistic here with the emotions and. Capturing life, uh, how are we going to learn from all this if, if we don't speak the truth and hide it all? Um, I'm still getting that, that shake thing. And Rebecca said the other day when uh, Sunday when, when Beckham left, uh, she was shaking. I was like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, yeah, just experiencing it for the real first time when, when he leaves the house. When we're, when we're both in the house together, it's called police right now, please. And they had already found him. Um, just, I don't know. It stinks. I, I try to be positive about this stuff. Uh, I just, I don't know. And as I'm out here uh, watching the news, smoking a cigar, and all, all that life stuff, I don't mean, not the best example, but uh, I don't know. What I want to give to just uh, to have more uh, family in the, in Brody and Beckham's lives, and the school has been nothing but great to us. And it's while the, they're probably the most important part of Brody and Beckham's lives, uh, I don't think Rebecca and I can even amount to what the school system provides for them. So, again, it's me rambling on here. Uh, the sound of sleep. Uh, 
don't know, man. Throw your judgment your way and do what you gotta do, but uh, I'm trying my best to keep them safe, and I am not, <laughs> I'm not doing the best I can. <laughs> but I think the deadbolts are the most important part. If I if I can say anything with the experience of uh, electronic stuff with with locking a door, do not go with the electronic stuff. As I saw this little connection thing, I was like, oh, if that thing gets wet, it might it reverse the signal and it will lock. It's dirty stuff. And then we had the old school deadbolt in there. I put it on there, man. It's good. Uh, your dad loves you, boys. Uh, your dad's a bum. Your dad doesn't know what the hell he's doing at the time. I don't know what the hell's going on at the time. When I hang out with you and just come down here and everything, I just, I have no idea, man. I have no idea what, what is going on, man. All I know is, is uh, I need to keep you all safe and loved. And feeling safe and that's it so I'm gonna hit the bed unfortunately the, the delivery from Aldi today didn't have the milk here so we're gonna figure that out tomorrow mom did a nice grocery order uh, but they had no milk available and Veterans Day and and happy Veterans Day and to the, to the individuals that I would run into when I was homeless briefly and I would run into you all outside of Wawa and we would sit there and you guys were just kind of like, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay. All right, take care, everybody. Good night.